get this cornbread, delicious cornbread, made just right for cornbread dressing. Good Lord, I cook just about everything. Good Lord, mm-hmm. come on in here, y'all. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on in here to cooking with Sandra Faye. Today, people, I am making cornbread. Not cornbread dressing. I'm making the cornbread for the dressing. Some of you have been requesting that I do cornbread. You email me. So now you got your wish. Okay, and now a lot of people don't know this. Let me tell you first. Cornbread is good for many things, okay? It's good for eating with vegetables and other things, you know, or you can just eat it by itself. But it's really good for making dressing. And there's different types of cornbread that you make for dressing. It's not that real sweet cornbread. No, not that. I mean, this cornbread that I'm making may have a little sugar in it, and that's just to get rid of some of the little twang, you know what I mean? But this is for cornbread dressing, all right? It's still good. You can still eat it with your vegetables, all right? I'm going to be using some yellow cornmeal that I got from Helen, Georgia. It's self-rising, and it's coarse, so I'm praying that it turns out right. I never used this cornmeal. But you know what they say, first time for everything. All right, here we go, y'all. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get this started. These are all the ingredients you will need. So make sure you prepare before you start the cooking process. And don't forget that the ingredients And the preparations will be down in the description box, as always. Okay, let's start by adding our yellow cornmeal, self-rising. That's two cups. Now we're going to add our self-rising flour. That's one cup. Now I'm going to add my one fourth cup of sugar. All right, then I'm gonna mix all that up, y'all. I'm gonna kind of blend it together. I like blending stuff together, y'all. I just like to see the colors. Well, this ain't gonna change color, but hey, it's good to just stir and stir and stir. And use a whisk, y'all, please. Use a whisk, okay? That's gonna help. Get all the lumps out. You don't want any lumps. You don't. All right. Now I'm going to add my three eggs. Damn. There you go. How they say? It's in there. Now I'm going to add my two and a half cups of milk. Bam. It's in there. And then we're going to stir and stir and stir until this is smooth. Hold on, I'm gonna show you the texture that you need. This is the texture that you need, people. You're probably saying, hey, it looks too soupy. No, it's not. And the reason why some of y'all cornbread is dry is because you don't have enough milk in it, okay? Stop putting water in your cornbread to make it. Use milk, okay? See the consistency of it? Trust me. This is not going to be dry when you bake it. It's going to be so good. And make sure you set your oven to 400 degrees. I forgot to tell you that. So do it right now, okay? Do it right now. Now you need to get your cast iron skillet out. Stop cooking your cornbread in a silver pan or whatever color the pan is. Cook your cornbread in a cast iron skillet. For some reason, it tastes better. I don't know why. I have no idea. But you are going to put your half stick of butter in there and your oil. 
Put your oil in there. That's one half cup of oil. And you're gonna let it melt, people. Well, this is margarine, okay? I got butter, don't get me wrong now. I got butter. Well, since I'm just making this for me, I am going to do margarine. All right, I'll see y'all when this is melted. You say, oh, that looks like too much oil. But it's not too much oil, people. That's why you got dry corn bread. Now, people who got cholesterol problems can't eat too much grease. Let me tell you, don't eat like this all the time, okay? Drink a whole lot of water, y'all. Y'all just don't believe what water would do for you. It would flush out a lot of things in your system that you don't need. That's why some of y'all have ailments. You don't drink water. Pour your oil. Just leave a little bit in the skillet, okay? Stir it up and mix it well, okay? Don't be concerned, like I said, that it's too much oil and margarine or butter, okay? It's going to be all right. It's not going to taste greasy. Take my word for it. I wouldn't lie to you. You don't want dry cornbread. Even if you decide to just eat cornbread, trust me, you do not want dry bread. Who the heck loves dry bread? I know I don't. After you have blended everything together, pour it into your cast iron skillet. Make sure you get everything out of that knife. Remember, it's going to rise up a little bit. Just a little bit, all right? I'm saving this bread because I'm going to be making some cornbread dressing. Yes, I will have the video for you guys with this cornbread right here. All right, let's take this bad boy to the oven at 400 degrees. This looks amazing, guys. You can go ahead and put you some butter on top, or you can just put some margarine. Either one would be fine. Ooh, so delicious looking. I'm getting ready to cut this bad boy. Woo wee, look at that butter. I didn't know Land Lakes makes margarine. I'm sorry, that's margarine. All right. Look at this cornbread made from scratch, not from a box. Good God, just right for dressing, cornbread dressing. It's time for the taste test, people. Taste test. You always got to taste your food. Okay, but let me tell you first though, like I said, you can omit the sugar if you want to. If you don't want the sugar in there, don't put it in there. But the sugar just helps it from being bland. You don't want your food to taste bland, okay? And for the people who can't eat eggs, I don't know what to say. Yeah, I mean, eat it. I mean, just put the egg substitute in there. I can't tell you how it's going to turn out. But anyway, let me taste this. Mmm. Oh. Just the right texture. Just. I can't even describe it, y'all. Now, when you're making cornbread dressing, you don't want to make your cornbread the same way that you're going to make to eat with your vegetables and your beans and whatever else you eat the cornbread with. It needs to be made just a little bit different. Just maybe a little bit more meal than usual, self-rising meal. Now, if you want to go through all them steps of baking powder, baking soda, doing all that stuff and salt, that's up to you. I'm lazy, so I use self-rising flour and self-rising meal, yellow or white meal, okay? Thank y'all for stopping by. 
So in a couple of days, you're going to see me make the dress. So make sure y'all come back, okay? Come back. Please come back and make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you do that. And come back, like I said, to Cooking with Sandra Bay. Mm-hmm.